everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands and welcome to this vlog. Today's original plan was that I was gonna go to a city here in the Netherlands and film like a day trip video but honestly I came back from London. I was there on a four day trip and ever since that trip I have been feeling so like tired and drained. Like usually I might be tired for a day or so, but now this is already day four and I'm still feeling really, really tired. I have decided to for once actually listen to my body because usually I am the kind of person who will still push through no matter how tired I am. And I am always doing like a million things, which is not always a good thing because yeah, I need to learn to really listen to my body. And if I am tired, I am tired. If I feel like I really need some rest, I should rest and not do a trillion things. So yeah, today um, I'm trying to do that. But at the same time, because I do have a day off today, I don't want to just sit at home all day even though maybe that would be the wise thing to do but i do want to do something today but i need to do something that's a little bit more relaxed so the plan is to go out and have some lunch and after that to the cinema to watch the new little mermaid movie i was hoping that this video could work as a motivation for someone who maybe struggles with spending time by themselves and maybe feels anxiety about it or thinks the idea of going out to a restaurant by yourself is uncomfortable, I don't know. Ever since I moved to the Netherlands, I have kind of had to learn to also spend time by myself. I moved here in the middle of a pandemic so in the beginning, finding friends was kind of impossible and my partner wasn't always available. So yeah, I didn't have very many options than to spend time with myself. If there is something that you feel like you really, really want to do, but you can't find anyone to do that with you, let's say go to a concert or to the cinema or whatever, then honestly, just do it by yourself. I think it is much better to do those things by yourself versus not doing them at all. I have actually really learned to enjoy my own company and I think it is really fun doing these things by myself and sometimes I even crave to do things by myself. This is your little pep talk to go out and do something even if it's something small like getting a coffee or whatever. I am starting to get pretty hungry so let's start heading to the lunch spot and have something to eat and yeah let's go. I think I managed to find the perfect plan B lunch spot. This place is called Pipa and it is located at one of the remaining like city gates here in Leiden. So it has a pretty nice terrace view, I would say. Now to choose what I want to eat for lunch. Oh, they seem to have a lot. They have burgers, um, pita, roasted eggplant, a curry, noodles. First bite. Mm. It's very messy to eat, a bit spicy, but really, really good. Oh my god. The lunch was really really good and I went quickly to the store and bought some small movie snack. I bought these, I don't know, Japanese style chocolate cookie stick things. And now I'm gonna go to cinema. Here in Leiden we have three different cinemas and yeah, one of the reasons why I chose the restaurant that I did was because it's right next to the cinema that I am going to named Lido. And yeah, the movie starts in about... 20 minutes or so so i'm gonna go and buy myself a ticket and that kind of stuff get ready and cozy for the movie Well, oh, 
it's so bright out here. The movie is now over and it was such a wholesome, feel-good movie. I feel like this day has been just what I needed. Something to do, but something relaxing so I can recharge a bit. Now after the movie, I'm afraid Under the Sea will be stuck in my head for at least a week. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna head home now and start filming again for this vlog once I am doing something fun and interesting and, you know, worth sharing. So, see you then. Today we have come to the space exhibition. It's here in Nordwijk. I've heard good things about it, but none of us really know what to expect. We are gonna do a tour here and let's see what it's like. Are you not excited for the space exhibition? Yes, this is my finish. interested in space, this place is a must visit in the Netherlands. Isn't it gonna hurt when I come down? Most likely. But it's part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> you need help? I think this is meant for children. Yeah, you think? Are you alive, Taro? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is not comfortable at all. The best. How many children have pooped in this thing? <laughs> well, hopefully none. Prepare to touch down, it says. Oh, you saw it. Mission complete. So today I am going to a concert. I'm going to see The Weeknd and I'm actually going by myself. I'm sure it'll be fun, but it also, I must admit, it feels a bit weird and I hope it won't be like awkward. I have a seat spot, so I'm hoping that whoever's sitting next to me will also be like dancing and in the mood because if everyone around me is just like sitting down, and I would like to like, you know, stand up and sing along and dance. It will feel <laughs> a bit awkward. Yeah, so hoping for the best. I need to start hurrying and head towards the Johan Cruyff Arena is what it's called. But I am probably completely butchering the pronunciation. But yeah, let's go. And so I have arrived. I am right by the arena. I am excited. People are dressed up and in a good mood. And I have a feeling it's gonna be a great night. Going to a concert by myself was a really fun and positive experience. I would have definitely been kicking myself afterwards if I would have decided not to go just because I didn't have someone to go with. The show was amazing and the people around me were dancing and singing along and it wasn't awkward at all. It was so much fun that I wouldn't mind doing it again. <laughs> Thank you. 
So today in Leiden we have, or this whole weekend, we have something called the Lakenhal Festival. I'm not really sure what what happens. I've seen there's like some food market and yesterday there was like a bunch of boats, like some kind of boat parade and stuff going on. We don't really have any plans, but we're gonna go outside and see a bit what what's going on. Um, but our first plan is that we're gonna go to the Saturday market. For so long I've been wanting to try this Japanese pancake that they sell there called Okonomiyaki. So our plan is to go and get some of those pancakes for lunch. I feel a bit tired though because last night I was at a concert, but let's hope I would get some energy from the food. <laughs> Really? Mmm. Was well, really good. Today during the Lakin Hall festival, there seems to be a lot of like private persons and small businesses selling things. Usually it's always like the same stands in the markets and this street usually doesn't have anything. But today there's a bunch going on here, so that's fun. So there seems to be some kind of rowing competition going on here and I think they're just about to start. Today it is the next day and it is like 30 degrees outside right now, so we are off to the beach. We have arrived to the beach and our first stop is to get some ice cream when arriving. I want the oubli. Oubli, that's a funny word. I want oubli with nurtjes. Thank you. Hello. So we've arrived to the beach and I'm sorry I probably have quite a lot of <laughs> sunscreen on my face because I just put some and I always burn in my face so I tried to put quite a lot and honestly I can't see anything. But yeah, we came to the beach, there's a lot of people here, but we came a bit more to like the side here in Katwijk and it's not too bad. We actually got a spot with not much people around at all. We have quite a peaceful spot, so that's really nice. My boyfriend just went to check out if the water is cold or not. I think it should be okay. It is like the open ocean here, so usually in the Netherlands the sea water is very very cold because it's such a like open sea water. Like in Finland the sea water heats up much faster than what it does here for example. But it has been very warm now for already a few weeks, so I am thinking it's probably not too bad. It should be okay. This is the first beach day of the year, so I am happy. I have been swimming, but that was in Finland and that was in lakes, but this is the first like beach day I would say and like really by the sea so I'm happy and the vibes are good and it feels like summer and well it is summer it doesn't doesn't just feel like summer um, personally I love the beach but just lying down and tanning for super long I'm not such a fan of that uh, I get quite bored quite fast I don't mind reading for a bit maybe being an hour or two I'm more of the swimming kind of person than lying on the beach kind of person which one are you was it cold Nice. It's really nice. I'm excited to take a dip in the ocean soon. Mm. 
we've had a nice day at the beach. I swam for quite a long time. My boyfriend swam twice. We've been here now for a few hours and we feel like we've gotten what we came for. So we're gonna start heading home. We have the luxury that the beach is very close to Leiden. So it doesn't take us long at all to get here. So that's why we can come here for just a few hours and already go back. It's been very, very nice.